Jessica Langenberg and I'm the CT Supervisor here at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. I will be the lead CT radiographer on the Melbourne Mobile Stroke Unit. So the CT radiographer is a specialised health professional who has undergone extensive training in the use of all types of X-ray equipment. The Mobile Stroke Unit radiographers will undergo additional training in the use of this particular CT scanner called the Seroton Scanner. So the Seroton Scanner is a specialised CT scanner that's been designed to scan the brain. It's much smaller than any type of CT scanner you'd expect to see in a hospital setting. Um, it's about the size of a large industrial sized washing machine. The radiation dose the patient would receive is similar to that that they would receive if they were to have a CT brain at any major public hospital. In fact the whole ambulance has been designed and built around the use of the CT scanner so we can ensure we're operating in a safe environment. So the radiographer is part of a whole team of healthcare professionals on board the ambulance and our main role is to produce the best quality brain images we can using the lowest possible radiation dose and we also need to do this in a time efficient manner. So the radiographer will position the patient in the CT scanner and ask them to lie very still. So it's a little like taking a photograph of you moving versus standing still. If you're moving the image or the photograph is going to be blurry. So the patient will lie still and the scanner moves over their head. Nothing touches you, you don't feel anything at all and the whole scan is over in a few minutes. So this first scan will allow the specialist to decide which type of stroke they're dealing with. Then we can inject what's called a contrast agent into an arm vein and do another scan while the contrast agent is in the blood vessels in the brain. So this gives very valuable information to the specialist and helps them to make a quick, accurate diagnosis. And it also helps to decide the most appropriate hospital to take the patient to. Uh, along with mobile stroke units around the world, we will also be trialling a system of transmitting that image data back to the Royal Melbourne Hospital for review. The radiographer will also perform regular calibration, in fact twice a day, checks on the machine and weekly quality assurance tests to make sure that the scanner is always operating at its best. So this is an exciting venture that we're about to embark on and one that I'm very proud to be a part of. Thank you.